Welcome to the budget section of the budget performance manager. In our previous video, we looked at the setup section and we also looked at the overview. That is walkthrough video on the different section of the template and its functionalities in like just uh, looking at it overall. But we've been taking each of the section to guide you on how to use this template and maximize its function. So we'll be looking at the budget section now it's called the budget performance manager as you all know definitely there has to be a budget you want to track its performance so when you come to this section first of all you would see the organization the organization you're working for that's the name here but you don't need to make input here because at the setup section you have the business name here right so the business name here you input here automatically Filter itself here. So it's saying stop. There is formula in here. Do not impute any text manually. So you don't need to impute any text manually for the organization field. So for the program, what's the name of the project you're working on? So you need to impute that. So this is the skills empowerment program and it's SEF SEP. That's the acronym skills empowerment program. Then the donor act aid, then the project code. If you don't have this code, there's no need to just impute it, but you can just create a code for just your personal tracking of the budget uh, on this template, right? Then the currency, what currency is your budget on? Is it in Naira? Is it in USD? You put it in here. Then how much grant have you been given? The total grant, which should correspond to this, right? 500 million grant. This is what we got. So you impute the amount here. Then the start date. The start date is this, and this is the end date. As you can see, we have from 1st of June 2024 to 31st of December 2024. So immediately you notice that this field, which has the actual expenses, immediately it imputes the from the start date up through to the, 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 the end date. So from 1st of June, June right through to December. So let's say that we have all through to uh, May 2025. So let's say May... 2025. So this project will span for through to May 2025. Notice what happened. You can see the 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 column heading for the actual expense section fills through to May 2025. So by default we have 12 months, 12 months columns. Then you have this additional one which which has its uh, uh, formulas inside, but it will help you in case you're working on a project that spans beyond 12 months. So all you need to do here is just to click on it and, you know, insert. You can just insert a column, right? Fill it, just copy and... Right? So you have the formula in here. So let's say we did it to... Just to test your formula, let's say to touch it. June is 30th. Let's see, 30th of June, just to test our formula. So you notice the June is in here. All right, so let's just go back and uh, does it. So just for you to know how to expand this uh, actual section uh, when you have a project that spans beyond, right, the actual dates like the actual 12 month calendar year so you can so if it's less than 12 it can still occupy if it's uh, more than 12 you can see how we just did it so you just impute a column and fill in the formula from the right to the left so that is it so all you need to know again is that at this section you don't need to uh, tamper anything on this section you don't need to tamper anything right through to the end even to this section, let's just go right away, even to the budget analysis section. So the actual expenses section and the budget analysis section, you don't need to impute, you don't need to tamper anything. It automatically fills itself. We have formula in here that automatically fills itself. As you can see on the uh, formula bar, we have formula in here that automatically fills itself. So all you need to do is to get your budget and uh, take your time to fill in here. If uh, putting the budget lines, putting the description, putting the budgetary uh, budget category, and putting the approved budget. So that is what you need to do here. So if you notice here, we have the personnel cost, and this is uh, the resort area for personnel cost. This line is the resort area. So this line sums everything 
So if you notice, all, all the item, all the financial line under personnel cost, this is the total of all the amounts under personnel cost. So you need to capture all that you need. So if you need to add additional line, you can just select the line and input another line. You can just right click, you know, and insert, or you can just control, shift, and plus. So it adds another line. You can just fill in the formula downwards. Let's say control D. You see, I'm filling the formula uh, item downwards. So all you need to do is just to ensure that you impute the details of this. So I can just impute this. I can say control D. Yes, you can see I'm imputing the formula. So all the formula up there, control D, or you can just drag it down, drag it down. So this is what you do. So here you ensure that the financial lines are all unique. You are not duplicating any. So you can see this has duplicated. All I need to do is just to, I copy the formatting so I can just delete and type in the correct details that I need to type in. Maybe I need to add additional line. This is how you go about it. So ensure that each of the section is well captured and the total is well captured, right? So the same thing you do for the administrative cost. As you can see, we have different um, financial line under administrative cost. This is the total. It sums all the items under administrative cost. So you can see the program cost. So even in the program cost, you still have the head and the subhead, then the financial lines. So for the program cost, we have different resort area or different programs in the program cost. So we have both basic computer skills. So there's a program uh, called basic computer skills. There's a bag making skills. There's a shoe making skills. These are all what the project is all about. As we know, it's the skills empowerment program. So there are different skills that this program wants to achieve. We have the basic computer skills, the bag making skills, the shoe making skills, and the meal. So the meal is not a program, but this is a section that monitors the activity of all this, this resource area, right? And it's still part of the program cost. So you can see how we structured it. So this is not a cast on stone, so to say, but it's giving you guideline on how to structure your budget here. So first of all, take your time, bring in your budget into this template, structure it appropriately. This is just these columns from A to D is where you need to work on. From A to D is where you need to work, column A to D. That is where you need to work on. And as you know, the formula we have here is just the sum where you can also impute it and ensure that each of the section is appropriately summed correctly. Then when you come to this, you see the formula that is being imputed here and follow suit. So this is more like the total direct cost and the indirect cost. Why the total direct cost sums all the subheads. You can see it sums all the subheads for the personnel, for the administrative costs, for the program costs, these are all direct costs. These are costs that we are going to incur in this project. Then the indirect cost is a particular percentage based on the actual cost, right? Based on the direct cost. And when you sum the indirect cost and the direct cost, it should give you the total, which is also equivalent to the approved amount on the budget. So take your time. Bring your bring in your budget, the grants you're managing, the budget you're managing, the project that's the financial uh, budget of that grant, that project you're managing. Take your time and structure it here. Mind you, as I said earlier, you do not need to tamper with this section. You do not need. When you impute a, a new rule, all you need to do is just to, you know, copy down the formula to ensure that the formula is filled in down so that as you are capturing the expenses in the transaction section, here automatically fills itself. As you capture the expenses on the transaction section, you'll notice that this place will be filling in itself automatically. And at each point in time, you come here. This budget analysis section gives you an overview of the performance of your grant part time. So you can see the total expenses made thus far, the percentage spent, and the variance. So you can just monitor the progress of your grant, the performance of your grant, and this can inform the decision you're making on a daily, monthly, quarterly uh, basis and annual basis, right? So this is giving you the information required to make informed decision. So ensure you take your time, structure your budget here. This is what I'm really keen on. Ensure you structure it here. This is the guideline that I've given you every of the resort area, impute the details, and don't repeat financial lines. Don't repeat financial lines. It will alter a lot of things. Don't repeat. Every financial line should be unique. Every financial line should have its unique code. Please note that. 
capture everything in details, then the other aspect of it has formulas. You don't need to capture. All you need to do is to fill in the formula. If you are going to be including additional column, use this to include an additional column. Or if at any section you need to include additional rows, just select the last and you know insert the row. That's all you need to do. Then you fill in the formula. You can just you know fill in the formula, drag down, and the formula is filled automatically. So you can just select the entire you know yeah, this now fill down and you fill the formula this is what you need to do is only where there is formula you fill here there is no formula you just impute the financial line i need to recreate this over and over so that you know the importance of this so basically this is all you need to have in the budget section of this template so ensure you do the work and you're good to go because this will help you as you keep working on this project. The budget analysis section gives you an overview of how the grant is performing part time. So why the actual expenses gives you expenses for each month. So you know what is happening in June, in July, in August. So you can infer and make decision. Okay, why are we spending less than this? You know, why is, is the spending not increasing? You know, there are things you just get to um, draw out from data and that will help you make informed decision right so this is basically what the budget section is all about which is one of the key area of the budget performance manager so i believe this serves as a guide for you as you get hold of this template to begin working on it and using it to manage your budget right so thank you for staying true to this section and i believe you've gotten an understanding of how to set up the budget section of this template. I hope to see you in the next section of this training covering the budget performance manager. So if you've gotten value from this, I would like you to like this video first, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and do well to share with as many that you know that will benefit from this. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next training. Bye.